I'm gonna review how to pull these probate records. So the first thing we're gonna do is gonna access our registry of deeds. We're in Cumberland, Maine. Uh, this is what our database looks like. This is the dashboard when you enter it. It's gonna be different per city, per state, per county. Uh, so just note that, but the process is quite similar. So here we go. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a recorded land search and we're gonna do a recorded date search. So just for the principle of this video, let's just do this for a month out. So we'll do 926 to 1026. And we're gonna do an advanced search. So what this advanced search tab does is it's gonna bring up all of the different records that we can pull from this database. So today we're just interested in pulling probates. So we're gonna select probates, or we're gonna search all of the towns in this county. We're gonna hit search. And what this is gonna do is bring up all of the records uh, within this date range. So here are all the probates that have been filed during that date range. And for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna choose this one right here. And I'm gonna show you what points that we take from these records and transfer onto an Excel sheet that then we can use to skip trace that name for a phone number and things like that. So let's jump in here. We just click that magnifying glass in this column right here. Again, this is for our county. It might be a little bit different for yours. And we're gonna just magnify this a little bit so we can see what's going on. So this is the probate document. This is the record, it's the record of the filing. And let's review what's going on here. So we can see that the first thing we see is the estate. So this is the person who did own this home. This is the person that passed away. Um, and you can, have, you can see their name here. This is an important piece of information. And the next important piece of information on this document is the representative's name. And this is Karen. This is probably the most important piece of information on this document because this is the person you're gonna to want to contact if you're interested in putting this house under contract, if you're interested in you know, learning more about this property. So let's just jump over to our spreadsheet really quick. And I've already done this for the sake of this video, but let's just review the things that we want. So represents representative's first name, her last name, her address. So what we did here is we took Karen's address and we transferred it onto this spreadsheet so we can see Karen Crandall of 48 South Street, excuse me, South Ridge Road, Falmouth, Maine. We have her zip. The next thing we want was the deceased first name and last name. So as we could see, uh, that was listed here at the top of this document. So again, we just transferred this over. Frederick uh, Bustard, that's his name here. Now, the next thing that's really important is the deceased address. Now that's obviously very important because that's the house that you're interested in. So these records don't always have that address. And I've looked through this record and it does not list Frederick's address. So we don't know the estate address. So there's a solution for this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump back into the home page of our registry. And instead of doing a date search, we're gonna actually you know, search this person specifically. So we're gonna look for Frederick. And we'll enter in his name here in this field and we'll hit search. Now what this is doing is it's bringing all of the records associated with his name. Now, you'll have to dig through these records and you'll have to do your due diligence here and you know, you know just dig in. I've looked through these already, and just as a point of reference, these discharge records usually have the address uh, pretty obviously noted on the record. So let's just click into here, click the magnifying glass so we can check this out. Let's maximize this a little bit so we can look at this. And what we can see here is the address. So here's the address pretty clearly stated. It's in Scarborough. Um, and what we have is this one Coral Burst Lane, Scarborough, Maine. And again, I've already transferred this information over, so we can see that's right here. So that's the process. Again, it's going through, getting all your probate records, getting your representative's names, their address, and then doing a name search if that name, excuse me, if that address is not already on the documentation. Then you're gonna do a name search for that representative. 
and you're going to transfer all this information onto this spreadsheet. You have it organized. Once you have this information here, you can go ahead and skip trace this information and pull these people's phone numbers so you can call them to see if they are interested in selling this house that uh, they've recently acquired through the probate process. So that's the process here. It's going to differ from county to county, uh, but this is you know a, a good base point to start, and you're just going to have to go into your county records and see the process that you follow. Again, it's probably going to be very similar to this.